Hello everyone. This is the nice little sewing machine. It's called Bell. It's smaller than the uh, brother weight. So it's like a cute little luggage. I bought this in uh, eBay a couple of months ago. So this is like a real complete set. So you can see here. So you have the little case and I have the little sewing machine. So it's like a cute little metal. It's all metal. And it's called Bell sewing machine. It was made in the company in Pennsylvania and it comes with the instructions and manual. So this is the cute little machine. It's usually it's green. You see those and uh, it was made in 1952 to 1954. It's just around there. So this is the tenter. This is the uh, sitch reverse and forward and then these are sit lengths for wide and short. This is short and this is wide sits. So I got this cute little machine on eBay for a while. So I pay about 70 bucks, which is not too bad. So it comes with the original case and then this is the foot pedal. And it's wrapped around. And then this is the original say Bells. It is a company. So it's made out of bake a lot. So it's a nice little thing, and it comes with the plug. So I'm going to test it out and show you how it works. And then there's a little plug. And they only use this type of plug for the machine. So the plug's in the back of the size. So you can see here. So I'm going to show you how it works. So here's the original manual. The structured manual that shows you. And then this is the company is in here. In Pennsylvania, Freeland, PA, and this is the way manufacturing. So it shows you how to use the machine. Well, after the video, I'm going to show you. So here's the box and I have the attachment. So this is the clamps. Clamp that you put underneath the sewing machine on the round the edge they have a little clamp on that um, this has a magnet for the bobbin that you can take out the bobbin out and this it goes with this and they have all the couple of tools screwdriver and then this is the light bulb they use for C7 only for the pitch for this sewing machine for the light it has to be used in this bulb only in the 7C only and then these are the little bobbin they're very small so you can see how small are those little bobbin so I'm gonna do that all right so I'm just gonna plug in the power so this is the tray that comes with this this is the original tray it has a little bow around this back so this you put this on here on the little tray there and then they slide it right in that machine and then this is the extra attachment inside that little box so it shows you in here there's all the little attachment that comes in the machine so they have a little hemming guards and they have the um, the gathering attachment it's a little slide up a little bit <coughs> And they have all the couple of sliding stuff. Gathering, varnish, and all that stuff. And this is this tiny little hemming that comes with it. So the thing to with it, all the stuff and attachment in, it works. So I'm just gonna put all the stuff in there. Okay, now I'm gonna plug this in here. This is the plug in the back of the side. So you can see here, it plugs in this side. Goes in here only one way. So it has a little light built into it that you can see. In the back of the machine, there's a light switch that you can turn it off. And then you put it back on. So you can see better on this side. So now we're just gonna show you how you wind up the bobbin. All right, so here's the machine. This is the stitch, the reverse, and for it. 
this is the hand wheel. So the hand wheel, it turns. So it goes up and down. See, this is the hand wheel. I know, because it doesn't have this, but they have it on top of the hand wheel. So this is where you put the bobbing on the winding bobbin. So the bobbing is in here. So in the back, there's a little lifting foot up. So in the machine in the back, so I can lift this up. And you can see here, there's a little lever. Put the foot and raise it up. There you go. Now this is the little black button that opens up the bobbin case. It pops open. And then there's a little clear bobbin and the case. So you use that, you need to get the magnet. This is the original magnet. And it has the shape a bell. So you can see it. It's a bell. So you just put this up. Take it up. To make it a lot easier. And then you put the bobbin out. So you can see how the little bobbins are. Small. So now we're going to put this bobbin on top where the hand wheel is. It doesn't have the thing that you can loose it up like the, all the other machines have. So now I'm going to show you how you wind the bobbin. So you put this in here. I'm going to use red so you can see better. So now to put this there, there's a little guard in the back, but a wind up over here. So you put this here and then you slide in the hole in here in the back of the winding. And now we have the little thread. Oh, I lost my thread. There you go. All right, now here on the little notch, there's a little thing on the top that you put the thread in here. There's a little thing, a little open space that you put the thread in while you're rewinding. So now I put this on here. There you go. And now we're ready to wind the bobbin. Now we got a scissor. There you go. I just wind it up a little bit. Now we cut it. And there's all wind up. And now we just put this in here. It's a little different, tricky. Because there's a little hole that you can see. There's a little hole in here that you put through the thread. So how you do that is you have to put this thread so you're facing this way in the opposite where the thread comes out. So now you have to put the thread in the little thing in there. And then you just drop it in there. So now the thread is under. So you have to go slide right in there in the between. So I can see. Hmm. Maybe I'm putting the wrong backwards. I'll keep playing with it. Yeah, I think I got it backwards. <laughs> there. Now it slides it right under. And now there's a little hole that you go right through the thread. There you go. See, that's how it looks. Now this thread has to be on top, and this is how it works. It's a little tricky to put this in here. It's a little tricky. There you go. Now you put the case back in here. There you go. And now we're ready to just put the twig in the machine. 
Now this guy goes on here and then underneath the tenter. Now there's a little coil up here on the top of the spring, so you have to go overlap. And then it goes through the hole in the second hole. And then you have the uh, level, it goes right through here. Like this. And then you pull it down all the way. And there's another one on the bottom, so I'm going to show you in the bottom. Now it goes underneath, and then you put the thread right through it. This lever goes open to loosen up the tenter. Now as you put the needle through the needle, uh, the, the thread, thread through the needle, my bad. <laughs> Alright, now we're just going to crank the wheel on the top. Uh, we just use a book pile a little quicker. I'm just doing gently. There you go. Now there you have it. There's a raised stitch. And now I have to show you the little thing of how I did it. Now there's a sun, and now we're ready to show. So now we're ready to do it. We drop the foot in the back. And then we just reverse. And then fall. And now we just lift the foot up. And then there's a little tag to loose up the tenter. So it's easy to pull. Because if you pull it and it's not working, it's going to be too tight. So it's not going to be able to pull and it may break the needle. So you have to lift this to loose it up. And now you can see how this sits of the tenter. I already fixed this a little bit. Nice little sits. Up. And now you can make a short cinch. Short cinch. This is a cute little adorable sewing machine that you can tie with you compared to the other sewing machine. So the other way is about this wide higher up. A little bigger than the little bell. And this is a small little machine. It's very light. So this is a great machine. It's all metal, you know. It's a cute little novel machine. So you can use, you know, you can carry with you, whatever. You make small little projects or something and um yeah so if you have any questions leave a comment on the bottom and i hope you enjoy it have a good day and my name is marcus video under marco fashion have a good day